from at you got nails. I don't Who's that? think so. Who's that? What? No. What? Hey, and we're here to show you our nail tutorial. We're doing an animal nails and animal nails today. Animal nails. You see, today. it is not easy. Okay. And Joey Let King how got you this snakes. Show your nails, Joey. This is <laughs> Sheldon the because snake. You got this down. And who is she? I got a giraffe named Mike. Hey, hey, I'm over here, okay? It's me, Kelly King from You Got Nails, and this is my tutorial. I'm Sorry, Kelly job. King couldn't make I it today. We're to taking over for Kelly no. King. Hey, she she goes, she she goes, she's she's going to sleep me today. She's going to I'm right set. here. Do you I'm hear right something? here. Do you hear I something? am right here. This is my tutorial. Just a quick note before we get started. I found the photos that inspired the giraffe manicure here. I did not think the tutorial the website offered was easy, so I decided to create my own. Let's get started on the giraffe nails. Use a light color for the base of this manicure. Next, you're going to use yellow to paint a yellow stripe in the center of each nail. Don't paint one in the center of your thumb. That is where the head of the giraffe will go. For the head of the giraffe, you're going to paint a stripe going long ways on your thumbnail. Make a small stripe diagonally. This will be the nose of the giraffe. Use a dotting tool to make small yellow ears for your giraffe. Now it's time to make the giraffe spots. Use a light brown color to make small blocky shapes. The shapes should almost look like they would fit together. Make sure you make some bigger shapes and some smaller shapes. This will give you the best pattern effect. These are what your four nails should look like when you're done. To finish the giraffe's head, you need to start by giving him a nose. Use a dark brown polish to create a little circle on the side of its face. Then use a dotting tool with some white on it to start the giraffe's eyes. Next, use the dotting tool to finish the eyes with two black dots. Also put two black dots inside of the brown area of the nose. For some extra detail, place two pink dots inside of the giraffe's ears. This was Mackenzie's idea. Now it's time to add your giraffe's horns. I used my dotting tool because I didn't have a paintbrush, but a paintbrush would do just fine as well. To finish up the giraffe's head, add some more of the giraffe pattern spots and you'll be finished. When you're done, you'll have a giraffe that spans across all five nails. Now to create Joey's snake manicure. Start again with a light colored base polish. We use the same blue. To make the wavy snake lines, I use my dotting tool to outline and fill in each shape. A dotting tool worked best for me because it allowed me to be very precise with where I wanted my lines to go. You can make your snake do whatever you want. Joey wanted hers to have a curly cue in the middle and to be very wavy. Here's what your nail should look like when you're done with the first four. Now you need to create the snake's head. This part is pretty easy. You just have to act like you're drawing an arrow. Now it's time to add some details to your snake. I chose to give Joey's snake some really cool stripes with my nail pen. Add a stripe to the head and make the snake's mouth using a small triangle at the top filled in with black. Use your dotting tool to make white dots for the snake's eye. Fill in your white with two black dots and you'll have really cute eyeballs. Use a dotting tool or small nail art brush to make your snake's tongue. Finally, use your nail pen or a dotting tool to add some extra little details to your snake to make it look more real. And that's it. You've created very cute snake nails. You've got nails.